Google Analytics 4 is Google's replacement for Universal Analytics, which is being sunset in July 2023. Many are unhappy about this change and are looking for alternatives. This video will cover and compare a list of those alternatives. First is PostHog. PostHog is an all-in-one suite of product and data tools built for product and engineering teams. It is a product OS that includes product analytics, session replay, A-B testing, and more. It has pretty much everything you need to track user behavior in your app or website. PostHog's snippet and auto capture makes it easy to set up on all types of sites, and our range of SDK and event capture options makes it customizable for your needs. It contains all the trends, funnels, cohort, and retention visualizations you expect from an analytics platform, along with many more insight options. PostHog is open source and provides EU and US cloud options, as well as self-hosting through Docker Compose. It is free for up to 1 million events and 15,000 session replays per month. Second is Matomo. Matomo is a popular session-based Google Analytics alternative. It is great for traditional website analytics and can even import data from Google Analytics. It also has a range of add-ons, including A-B testing and session recordings. Matomo also shares some weaknesses with Google Analytics, as it doesn't have the advanced analytics features more complex web and mobile apps are looking for. Matomo is open source and self-hostable, and cloud-hosted plans start at $23 per month. Third is Plausible. Plausible is a lightweight, privacy-oriented analytics tool. It's easy to use and doesn't collect any personally identifiable information. This makes it ideal for complying with GDPR. Plausible is best for basic website analytics like page views, session duration, and refer information. It's not meant for apps and has significantly less power than Google Analytics and other alternatives on this list. Plausible is open source, self-hostable, and a hosted version starts at $9 per month for 10,000 page views. Fourth is Telemetry Deck. Telemetry Deck is a privacy-minded analytics tool for mobile apps. It has an event-based model with first-party SDKs for Swift, Kotlin, and JavaScript. Telemetry Deck makes it easy for app developers to track things like active users, app versions, and basic user metadata like location. It also supports basic retention and conversion funnel insights. Since it only collects basic user information, it doesn't need consent banners as well. Telemetry Deck has a free plan that comes with 100,000 signals per month. The paid plan starts at 19 euros per month for 1.5 million signals. Fifth is Pux Pro. Pux Pro is a commercial spin-off of Matomo. It includes a similar near copy of Google Analytics experience like session-based tracking and UX. Its differentiators are enterprise level support and an integration with a CDP. It also emphasizes privacy compliance by integrating a consent manager. The core plan is free for 500,000 monthly actions, but the enterprise pricing isn't publicly available. Sixth is Fathom. Fathom is another privacy-focused, lightweight analytics tool similar to Plausible. It provides basic stats like page views, average session duration, and refers, making it great for small and medium-sized marketing sites. It starts at $14 per month for 100,000 page views. Last on our list is Counter. Counter is a free and open source analytics tool that operates a pay what you want model. It's ideal if you want basic tracking, but definitely isn't feature complete with GA4. Counter collects aggregated data, reducing complexity and server load while improving data privacy. Less data is saved to a database and single page views aren't connected to users. That's all for this video on GA4 alternatives. If you have any questions or think I missed a product, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. And to find the written version of this video and more, go to posthog.com slash blog. Thanks for watching.